Welcome to one of Barcelona's most impressive landmarks, the beautiful Palau Nacional. As we all know, looks can be deceiving, and many say that this is the case for this grand palace. While the palace appears to be a very old building, the truth is, it's actually rather young. The cityscape on the mountain the palace stands on, Montjuic, has undergone two major changes. The first one in 1929, when the World Expo took place in Barcelona, and a more recent change for the Barcelona Olympic Games in 1992. The palace was built during the first of these two large events, the World Expo, as one of the event's main attractions. During the Expo, the palace became a major success and people came from all over Europe to discover its beauty. The designers, the Spanish architects Enrique Catala and Pedro Sendoya Oscos, built it in the style typical of palaces that housed European royalty. Some say this rather classical design was a reaction to the Art Nouveau movement in general, and Antonio Gaudí in particular, whose style had been dominating the Barcelona architecture since early 20th century. Many structures constructed for a World Expo has been built with impressive speed, and the Palau Nacional is no exception. The foundation stone was laid in 1926, and the mighty building stood complete just three years later. After the World Expo, the palace became the host for the Museo d'Art de Catalunya, the National Museum of Catalonian Art, which it still hosts today. Inside the museum, you can find lots of beautiful art, both old and new, but with a general focus on Romanesque art. The Romanesque style was an 11th to 13th century art movement, characterized by vibrant colors, elongated forms and expressiveness. The museum is actually considered to be one of the most, if not the most important center for Romanesque art in the world. If you're interested in art, the museum is definitely a must. When it was decided that Barcelona would host the 1992 Olympic Games, a restoration program was put into place to refine and modernize some parts of the palace. The majority of the work was completed before 1992, but some restoration work carried on throughout the whole 90s. The restoration of the palace was officially finished in 2004, when the King of Spain officially reopened it. Today, the Palau Nacional is one of the key features on the Montjuic. While the building itself is beautiful to look at, it is just as nice to be on the building and look out from it. If you plan to go inside, don't forget to go to the roof terrace. It will give you a magnificent view of the magic fountain and the rest of the city.